pro Mary, as I will always oh. say, give you from now. Yeah. There you go. Those are the uh, days. What was really what I got the kick out of it? I mean, this is just such a tale of today, anyhow. You know, where best laid late plans of families are kind of often astray. But I love the the idea that uh, he goes to the gym, and his his greatest nemesis is the guy that whose dad. Yeah, whose son? What did you relate to when you first saw the script? Um, um, well, I well, I guess it, Molly as a character is what I related to initially, and what I like about her is that she's as um, flighty and uh, stupid and um, kind of uh, passionate and uh, as everybody is, but. Um, She's unapologetic about it, you know. I feel like, I, I, and I liked that. I liked that, like, you know, in my life, I'm just about as stupid as she is, but I like to pretend that I'm not. So, <laughs> Maria, at what time? At what point did, did do you have anything to relate to to this character? Where you know you you planned your entire life out after an event, and then it goes to hell in a handbasket? Yeah, I think everyone. I I I think you picked up on something really. Um, really alive in the script is that there is no planning, right? I mean, everyone sort of makes these big plans, and she's going to college, and we're going to start having sex, and you know, I wake up every day and say, I'm not going to eat this, I'm going to do this, and the day's never like that, right? The days are, you know, you get a phone call, and all of a sudden you're picking up a kid here, and I mean, there is no planning. So I think um, I liked that about the script. I like that, you know, I mean, all that conflict I think lends itself to a lot of comedy, you know, and um, and then in the end of this, in the end of the pilot, I'm not ruining anything. I find out I'm pregnant, um, and so that's more complex. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be pregnant at the same time, which is funny. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. It's funny if you don't have to actually be in the situation in real life. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> then it's Jerry Springer. That's a different show. A sister and man. we would have been knocked up by the same guy. Right? That's right. different. Who would have been related to you very closely. <laughs> um, what about returning to television so quickly after? I've had a year off. I think that's downright lazy. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm Irish. It's time to go back to work. But I've enjoyed my year off. And I like television. I like the whole, um, first of all, I like working. And I like my kids to see me working. And um, I like the spirit of a crew. I like to get to know the crew. I like, you know, eventually, you know, I hope our show runs forever. So we'll all be on a softball team together. And people will be having babies for real. And, you know, I like all that. I like the just like the nature of TV, I like the speed of it, all of it. How is this gonna? This is probably gonna be a much better schedule for you, half hour, than hour long, especially as a mom. How, yeah. How are you finding that's gonna? Well, I mean, we just got our production schedule, and every fourth week is a hiatus week. I had. Isn't that ridiculous? On In Plain Sight, I had one day off in seven months, and I was worked. You know, twelve. I mean, I don't want to whine because it's the best part. I mean, who could ask for a better part? But they were long, long, long days. I mean, 12, 16, 18 hour days, and I was actually pregnant, not wearing a pregnancy pad. So this is um, a joy, yeah. I mean, the work is fun, and it's all nice people. And I mean, I just, I remember I'd come home to my husband every day after the pilot and go, it's so much fun. It's <laughs> fun. Like, the whole day's just fun, and it got funnier, and yeah, everyone's nice. So Mary, we'll see. You, I mean, it could all go south. What do you really like about your character so far? I, I, the thing I most appreciate about Mike's writing in general, Mike Sykowitz, who wrote the show, uh, and especially in terms of my character, when we sat down to talk about part, I said the thing that I'm allergic to in wife roles and comedies that I've seen, you know, in, in the less well-written ones, is just that whole where the wife has to become almost a mother to her husband, you know, where she has to be like, oh, to her man-child husband. And I always just think, why are they married? Like, what's she getting out of it? And, who wants to raise a guy? Who wants to raise her husband? Like it's so not realistic to me. I mean, my husband and I certainly um, we have three kids, and you know we love them together. We also hate them together. So I think we're more of a united front, you know. And I I, I like that in the script they are too. That they both see her for all of her strengths and all of her weaknesses, and can't wait for her to get out. So is the goal to the first season we will be dealing with the pregnancies all the way through and then second season we'll be dealing with raising a baby or having I a baby? I don't know what the timeline is. I don't know. That's a question for okay. me and Mike. I don't know how soon. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously we're only a few weeks pregnant, so I don't know how they're going to, how that they'll time that out. How would you like to see them do it? 
It's like instead Not of a joint wedding, we'll have a joint or... labor, right? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. The big finale is always a joint wedding. We'll have a joint birth. <laughs> oh God. Mary, what, at what point do you think you stopped pretending being an actress and actually became one? Jeez. Uh, I don't know. That's a really good question. Was it Epiphany at a point in time or a role? No, I don't know. I mean, I. I certainly have never done, I mean, Murder One was a big job for me, and I had never been to LA or seen a sound stage, or, and all of a sudden I was doing closing arguments in front of, I'd never seen a crew that big, so that was a big sort of baptism, you know, I mean, I was definitely thrown in the deep end. But a great, great part, I mean, there's no one better to work for than Stephen Boschko, and so um, that was a, and I paid off my student loans, so I think that's the moment. <laughs> Calling my loan officer and saying, ha ha, take that. And Ella, what about going from nighttime drama to nighttime comedy? Was that was comedy something you had in mind in the first place, and drama just came around, or how how'd that work? Yeah, it was always kind of a, a comedy was always sort of a, a secret um, desire. But uh, you know, like my family would laugh in my face every time I said that I wanted to do. And literally, they'd laugh in my face every time I said I wanted to. Do comedy. So um, when this came, when the audition came along, and it, and I responded so much to the character, and I felt like maybe I had a shot at it. It was um, pretty exciting, and the experience itself is totally different. I mean, um, I guess what I've what I've realized the most is that in comedy, you it's so often less about um, <clears throat> what's exactly on the page and uh, more about what's in front of you, and kind of having to um, respond to you know what's there and then maybe changing what's on the page or or you know or like t it's a, it's so um it's you have to be so adaptable and willing to um, change things based on like what's actually in front of you well with the after shirt you're up against here um what are you learning so far i mean you've got people that are pretty seasoned at oh yeah <laughs> seasoned <laughs> means old <laughs> not, in Mike's case, in Mike's case. Oh, like we having a sensitive so. day here. <laughs> I'm a grandmother. This is a sensitive <laughs> subject. I become a grandmother on this. I'm trying to get the word. I'm trying to get the term "gilf" to take off. Alice and Jamie and I were commiserating. We both think that gilf should be part of. Isn't there something a little creepy about gilf? I don't know. Well, I'm a writer. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, I was just going to say, I could go on. I could say so many things about what I, I mean, watching them from like a, from a, an acting, from a work perspective. But also, I mean, I think the most amazing thing for me is uh, that they all have big families. Like, they've got kids and, um, you know, like marriages. And, like, I go home and I'm like, oh, God, what a day. <laughs> and then I go to sleep. And like you know, they go home. They're like, "Oh God, what a day!" Now, now it's time to do my other job, and that's amazing. I mean, I don't even, I don't know how they, they have the energy to do that. But um, and then obviously, all the, you know, all the acting things too. But I mean, we go on the day like that. Get a dog. Get a cat. Yeah, get maybe a, it's, it's training sense. for you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. Is it Ella or Ella Red? Just Ella. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. <laughs>